Well, hello everybody. It's YouTube land. This is Ken Keith here with Ken Knows Gambling. And uh, it's time for our third video. We've already discussed uh, the big four and the little three. We've discussed in the first inaugural what I'm trying to accomplish. And uh, uh, so we've done that. So now you're in the casino. Now it's time to pull out your money and play. The question now is, what do you play? Okay, a lot of table games. There's a lot of things to do. You got slots. You've got all sorts of table games, carnival games. I call them like three card poker, that sort of thing. But what do you do? So, are you a wanderer? Do you like to just roam around the casino and go, oh, that's pretty. That seems like an interesting game. Don't know how to play it, but let's sit down and pull our money out. Or do you have games that you want to play? So if you're one of those, uh, and again, no harm, no foul. If you're one of those that, that just wander around and look at, you know, for something shiny and new and, and you don't care, then okay, again, uh, my series might not be for you, uh, but if you want to lose less, I mean lose less and actually win more, go home with some money, this whole series of things that I'm going to do uh, is going to help. We just have to take it a little bite at a time, a little bite at a time. So, uh, again, I said I wasn't going to, my daughter says I should, so I, she said I shouldn't, but I'm going to. She, she said that I should say, hey, listen, if you've got any comments, go ahead and post them below or email me. My email should be in the link, but it's KenKnowsGambling at uh, gmail.com. Uh, she says, hey, if you like it, share it. Uh, but I'll say that much. As far as the other goes, you can, you can like, don't like, subscribe, don't subscribe. But hey, if you, if you do like it, share it maybe. With, but don't share it with people that don't gamble because they won't care. My wife was watching my first one, and she says, honey, that's just too long. I said, but you're not a gambler. You don't care. So, But anyway, enough of that. So here we go. Let's get into some meat and potatoes. All right, so you're there. What games do you play? Well, typically what you're trying to look for are the games with the lowest house edge. Okay, and what do I mean by that house edge? Uh, if you've been gambling at all, you know, but some of you might not. Like you take roulette, for example, and it's a, a zero double zero American wheel. You're like at 5.26% that if you just sit there and, you know, and bet $10 every time, every spin, every spin, you can expect to lose 5.26% of, of, of your bets. It, the, the casinos are built on that house edge, dig, however you want to call it. They're built on that. So the higher the house edge, the harder it is for you to consistently win money. Now, you can win money at roulette. I've done it. And you can win money at anything. And you can lose money at anything. But we're trying to keep it to give you the best, best edge. So what do you think uh, is the lowest, lowest edge, uh, lowest house edge game out there? I'll give you a second to think about it. There's a couple. All right. Number one is Baccarat. It would be a 50-50, an absolute 50-50 game unless they, but they, the, the play, I'm sorry, the banker gets a 5% commission. That's the only way they can keep it in their favor a little bit, 5% commission. But other than that, it's a good game. Baccarat is player banker. It does tie, but ties don't take your money. So it's just player banker. And once you put your put your money out there, there's nothing you do. There's nothing that you can think. No control. You just do it. Very simple. Very, very, very good game. That one, that one. Uh, blackjack. Similar. 1.3, 1.4%. I think. Let me get it. It's 1.26%. I knew it was. They're close if you play perfect basic basic strategy. So that's a good one. Also, too, it's the only 50-50 game that you can get bonused. And what I mean by that is once you get a blackjack, it pays three to two. Now watch out. I'm glad I'm talking about this. 
there are some blackjack tables that pay uh, six to five. Try not to play those. Try to find the ones that's three to two. They're getting chinsy on you, and they don't want to give you as much for a blackjack, which is BS to me. But nonetheless, very good game if you know what you're doing. If you don't, you can get hurt there. But blackjack, very low house edge. And then you have craps. Pass line, I think it's really close. It's uh, pass line is... 1.41 and the don't pass is 1.36 percent house edge very close to the rest of them so these three games i'm talking about baccarat uh, blackjack craps they have some of the lowest house edges this is why so many people play them because they're great games now uh, through other videos we'll talk about just craps how to bet it what's the best not the best we're just talking general today Baccarat, uh, craps, and uh, blackjack, right? Blackjack, craps, baccarat. Okay. Now, uh, another really good game that gets overlooked that is as close to 50 50 as you can get is called Pie Gal Poker. P A I G O W Poker. That's another one that is so 50 50, uh, they have to take a, a, a 5%. Uh, commission uh, on your wins on that one too uh, but it's really really close and it's one of those games you can lay a hundred dollars down bet five ten at a time and you're not going to lose a bunch you're not going to win a bunch a lot of ties so if you just want to sit relax you know drink a coke whatever and just relax and not win or lose a bunch but but burn time great great game so those are good games. Now, when you get to roulette, it's 5.26%. Uh, now, if you find the European wheel, the single zero, it drops, cuts it in half. So it's like 2 point, what is that, 2.7%. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I have to look over here. I know close to what it is, but I want to be exact with you guys. Uh, if you play roulette right, there's a lot of different strategies. Oh, my land. A lot of different strategies on there, but try to do the wheel that's European that only has one zero. Okay, now those are really those are only games. Really, if I'm concentrating on making money, I, I will be in one of those. Okay, then you go into what you call carnival games. What I call carnival games are three card poker and then like let it ride. Caribbean stud Caribbean stud the house edge is so high on that because you have to make your decisions before they it's It's terrible. It's a terrible game and some of you like it. It's a carnival game uh, But now do people play them? Of course they do. Yeah, I've played it. I just don't like it. I mean uh, uh, But three card poker. Oh, man, I'll play it But there's where your money management and discipline comes in because three card poker has a 7.28 house per house advantage on you. Remember, like you get over to the blackjack with 1.3, 1.4. This has like 7.2, 7.3. The house edge, if you're playing the pair plus, pair plus and any. So, you know, obviously that pair plus, if you're looking for that 30 to 1, 40 to 1, you want that straight flush, you know, uh, or three of a kind, and they do come. But not often enough. And so eventually you get, you know, popped unless you can get some straights. But it's a fun game. And so I will play it. Now, it's not going to be my top three games uh, to play if I'm really seriously trying to make some money. It's not. But it's going to be a time killer. But you have to use strict discipline and money management when you're doing that. You come in with 100 bucks or 200 you know, 30, 40, 50% tops. You lose half your money because it ain't going anywhere. Get up. Get up. You have to do it. Uh, and it's it's hard. I know it is. But if you're playing those types of games, or any game for that matter, you have to use money management and discipline skills that I'm teaching you here. You, you just got to be really, really good at it or you're going to go home without money. And, and I'm trying to get you to go home with some money or lose less, okay? 
So those are really the games that they got. What do you think the, 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 the biggest house edge game is? You've seen them, but you probably don't know. It's called that great big wheel, right? It's up there just ridiculously, 15, 18, 20%. I'm not, it's just high. But it looks so easy. They got so many ones and so many twos. It's very, very, very high. And I just, you know, I don't play it. Uh, and then the last thing we could talk about is, is slots. I mean, come on, man. Everybody plays slots. I play them. I play them every day here uh, online. I do. But it's still strict money management. If it ain't going my way, I bleep, get out. I mean, you have to. You can't just sit there and go, well, you know, it's due. It's due. No, it ain't. It's random. It can take you forever. Uh, you know, or it could hit the next one. That's what keeps sucking us into them. But it's okay. Play them. Get lucky. But, boy, if you 50% max, you drop 100 and you get down to 50, you've got to get up. You have to save that 50 bucks. Try something different. Okay. So, I, I've been asked, actually, I did get emailed. Yeah, it's been three days. I, I, I got emailed and somebody asked me what my, what my ranking was when I call, when I play games. How do I rank them? Okay, well, it's a, it's a, it's a catch-22 because to me, poker, poker, because you're not playing the casino. They do take a rake, but you're playing the man. Love poker. I've made a ton of money at uh, holding. Love it. So if I'm really, really going and I want to make money and I want to almost assure myself a guarantee I'm going to play poker or I'm going to sports bet. And again, as we do videos, I will talk about poker. I will talk about sports betting. Different. I mean, there's, I got a thousand videos I'm going to do. So y'all just hang with me. Hang with me. You know, maybe, okay, I'll go against my, what I said, subscribe to me so you can, you can know, uh, when I put another one out, cause we're going to just series one after another, after another, and it's just going to be progression. I'm starting it from the basics and we're going to move it on out. Okay. So they, they asked me, so it's poker, definitely poker and definitely sports betting, but in the casino itself, it's going to be craps, blackjack, poker. I'm sorry, craps, blackjack are the two main, and baccarat. Craps, blackjack, baccarat. They're almost synonymous with each other. Those are my three that I'm going to stick to day in, day out, day in, day out. Okay? If I'm wanting to win money, those are the three. So I don't want to rank them one, two, three, but those are the three, and I can interchange them. If one table is full, I can do the other one. If that table's full, I can do the other one. Now, if I've got three tables that are full and I can't get to one of those games, then I probably shoot to roulette. But roulette is touchy, and I'm going to have to teach you some tricks uh, on roulette. So anyway, you wake up in the morning. You need to know what games are you going to play. Don't be a wanderer. If you're a wanderer, then you know you're just there, and you're going to you're you're going to go home broke. And that's okay. But if you want to make money, when you get out of bed, you're in that hotel room and big 12 inch feet hit that ground man you want to know what games you're going to play absolutely what games are you going to play and you want to know how am i going to bet what strategy am i going to use on this game you need to know three and four or five steps ahead before you even sit down and we'll go over all this but we're going to use our money management and our discipline on these games and you need to know in your head what you're going to do. It's, a, it's like a job. It, it really is. If you really, really want to be serious about making money, then the casino itself becomes a job. And when you were in there like I was for a couple of years, you know, then it's like all them bells and whistles and all that. It's just like, bleh. You just want to in there make money and get the hell out. Okay. But anyway, so now you're ready to gamble. You're going to take your bankroll. And you're going to put it into sessions. So if you got $1,000 that you're bringing total to gamble, you're going to break it up into five $200 sessions or two $500 sessions or whatnot. Put them credit cards in that safe, man. Don't take that crap down there and, and you know, oh, man, I, I got to do this. I got to go pull money because I'm losing. Don't do it. That's what 
people have always done. Don't do it. Uh, pick your game. We'll talk about different betting strategies like, you know, regressions and flat betting and martingales and all that. That'll probably be my next video. Matter of fact, it is going to be the next video that I make. We're going to talk about different betting strategies. What are good, what are okay, and what you stay away from. All right. Hope I was clear on that. Uh, you're ready to gamble. You pick the games. You, you've got your session money only that you take down. When the session's over, you can come back up, get your other session money, continue on. Uh, and then you're going to sit at the table and you've got your win goals and your loss limits that we talk about. You've got them in your head and you're ready to fire it up. You're going to go, deal me, baby. And you're ready to go. All right. So, hey, listen, appreciate everybody. And uh, like I say, if you got any questions, comments, or, or if I didn't make something clear, just ask me. I'll be, I'll be glad uh, to help you with that. Uh, or email me. Like I said, private, you'll mail me. Not you'll mail, email you back, I promise. Uh, and I'll clarify anything. So next video, probably this weekend, next video is going to talk about different money. Uh, I hate calling them systems, but they are. Uh, different money strategies betting strategies to optimize winning and optimize when you're losing how we're going to do it how we're going to bet when we lose how we're going to bet when we win to keep that money in your pocket and give you a chance to win all right y'all thank you very much hope you enjoyed it so until next time i'm going to turn this thing off and like i said I do everything live everything's live so i don't edit squats so you're going to see me turn it off see you later